guys welcome back to my channel creative hands by Shea. so today i'm here with another video where i will show you how to make a cute little easter bunny egg so this is one that i previously made and i will be showing you a video tutorial on how to do one of your own so i will also be making a basket because i'm doing like a little uh easter bunny basket thingy and i will be um, making some eggs to go with that so this is the egg and this is also egg as well, but this is the one with the ears and eyes and nose. So guys, I hope that you stay tuned and watch till the end to see how I put this together. So guys, let's jump in the video. So guys, to begin, we will start off by making a magic ring. So you can make your magic ring however you want to. So I'm going to wrap my yarn around my fingers like this, insert my hook, pull up a loop. Now that I have done that, I will just chain one and into that ring, I will make uh, eight single crochets. So insert your hook, pull up your loop and pull through. Insert, pull up your loop, yarn over, pull through. That's two, insert, pull up your loop, yarn over, pull two. And that's three, continue doing the same thing, four, So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we're gonna pull down on your string. Make sure that you pull it tight to close the hole here. And put that behind. So now what we're gonna do is we have to use our stitch marker. I'm just gonna get one. So in this first stitch here, we are going to put two single crochet in that stitch and in all the stitches around we will be making two single crochet in them so that's my first one and you're going to use a stitch marker to mark that and into that same stitch we're going to make another single crochet continue doing that you should have a total of 16 single crochet at the end of round two so now I have come to my last stitch here and I'm going to make my last two. And I have my total of 16 single crochet. Remove your stitch marker. In the next stitch, we are going to make um, two single crochet. One and two. Remember to use your stitch marker for the first stitch. And then in the next one, we will make one single crochet. So continue doing that uh, right around, making two double crochet and then in the same stitch and then one double crochet in the next. You should have a total of 24 double, single crochet, sorry, at the end of row three. So now I've come to my last stitch here and I'm making my last single crochet. And that brings me to a total of 24 single crochets now for row four we're gonna make one single crochet in our first stitch there and then we're gonna make another one and then another one so the sequence for row four is three single crochet in each stitches and then in the next we will put two single crochet in that stitch and that will bring you to a total of 30 single crochets. So continue doing that and I will see you at the end of row four. So now I have reached my last stitch here and I'm making my two single crochet, giving me a total of 30. Remove your stitch marker. Going on to row five is gonna be a little bit different we are going to make nine single crochet in each in the stitches when you get to your tenth stitch you will make two double crochet in that so that's two three four five six seven eight and 
9 and then 2 in this stitch here and then we're going to do another set of 9 and then another 2 in the same stitch so that's one continue doing that and I'll see you at the end so now I have come to the end of row five and I'm just going to remove my stitch marker and I have my total of 33 stitches so moving on row six is going to be a little bit different again so we're going to do five single crochet in each stitch and then after that we will do two in the next stitch and then after that two we will do ten single crochet in separate stitches then two together and then another ten uh, in separate stitches and then two together and then five single crochet in the next stitch I will put it on the screen so you don't get confused uh, with these stitches so I'm going to start with my five single crochet and you can continue doing that make sure that you use your stitch marker so that you don't uh, lose your stitch count so continue doing that and I'll see you at the end of row six you should have a total of 36 stitches so now I have come to the end of row six and I have my last stitch here and I have a total of 36 single crochet so for row seven we will make one single crochet in the first 11 stitches and then two in the next stitch you will continue that same sequence right around you should have a total of 39 single crochet at the end so I will always put these instructions on the screen so that you can follow um, well so one two three four five six seven eight and nine ten and eleven and then two in the next continue that same sequence and I'll see you at the end so now I have come to the end of making my 11 stitches here and I'm going to remove my stitch marker and I have a total of 39. You notice that your work starts to curve in. You can just flip that out so you have that nice good side out here and you have that other part around there. So now what we're going to do is from row 8 to 9, we will make one single crochet in each stitches right around. Remember to use your stitch marker so you don't lose your count on your stitches. So I will see you at the end of row 9. So now I have come to the end of row 9, removing my stitch marker, moving on to row 10. So for row 10, we will do one single crochet in the first 11 stitch and then we will do a decrease in the next. So make your first 11 stitch here. So that's my first there using my stitch marker to mark up my stitch. So that's one, two, three, four. And 11 so to do the decrease I will just show you how to do an invisible decrease so insert your hook in the first loop there pull up a loop pull through you will not finish insert your hook in the next one here pull up a loop and now you will be doing slip stitches so slip stitch through the first one here Let me just do that over so 
So I slip stitch through my first one and then slip through the next. And that creates an, an, an invisible decrease there. And then in the next 11 stitch, you will make one single crochet. So you can see it. So you should have a total of 36 single crochet at the end of row 10. So continue making uh, your stitches and I'll see you at the end. So now I have come to the end of row um, 10 and I have a total of 36 stitches removing my stitch marker and now for row 11 you will do one single crochet in each stitches around and that will give you a total of 36 single crochet so continue doing that and I'll see you there so now I have come to the end of row 11 moving on row 12 removing my stitch marker and for row 12 it's going to be different again so we're going to start off with five single crochet in each stitch and then we're going to do a decrease just the same way how i showed you before and then after the decrease we will do 10 in each stitches then after that 10 we will do two together that's a decrease again then we're going to do another set of 10 and then another decrease and then a set of five so as I stated before, I will be showing you on the screen how to do these so that you won't uh, be confused or don't remember what to do. So I'm going to continue doing this and I'll see you at the end. So now I have come to the end of row 12 and I removed my stitch marker. So now moving on row 13, we will only do one single crochet in each stitches. So continue doing that and I'll see you at the end of row 13 and you should have a total of 33 stitches. So now I have come to the end of row 13 and I have my 36 stitches. Sorry, 33 stitches. <laughs> So, uh, moving on to row 14, uh, you will now do, um, in the first nine stitches, you will make one single crochet. And then you will do a decrease in the next. So that will be the sequence uh, for the entire row of row 14. You should have a total of 30 stitches at the end so continue doing that and i will see you at the end so now i have come to the end of row 14 and i have my total of 30 stitches moving on row 15 you will make four single crochet in the first four stitches i'm going to mark my first one here so that's one two three and four and into the next we will do a decrease so one into the front loops two now i have my three loops on the hook uh slip stitch into the first one slip stitch into the next one and that completes our decrease or invisible decrease and now after we have done that now we are going to do eight single crochet in each stitches so that's two so after your eight then you're going to do another decrease and then after that you will do another set of eight and then another decrease and then the last four stitches you will make only single crochets so Continue doing that and I will see you at the end of row 15. So now I am at my last four stitches here. One, two, three, and four. And I have a total of 27 stitches. Remove in your stitch marker and start in row 16. So for row 16 you will do one single crochet in the first seven stitches and then 
to decrease. So you should have a total of 24 at the end of this um, round here, row 16. So make your first one. You will just continue that same sequence around. Two. So now I have my seven and I'll do my decrease. And then I'm going to do my next seven again, continue that same sequence and I'll see you at the end of row 16. So now I have come to the end of row 16 and I'm going to do my last decrease here. And you should have a total of 27. Now moving on to row 17, you will do three single crochet in the first three stitches and then you will do a decrease and then you will do six single crochet and then another decrease. Then you will do another set of six single crochet and then another decrease and then you will finish off with three single crochet so continue doing that and i'll see you at the end so now i have come to the end of my row here and i have my last three stitches making my last um three single crochets moving on to row 18 so you should have a total of 21 stitches for row 17. now mo ro moving on to row 18 you should um have you're gonna have a total of 18 stitches at the end so you're gonna make five single crochet in the first five stitches and then a decrease so that will be the sequence for the entire row Always remember your stitch marker so you don't uh, lose your stitches. So continue doing that and I will see you at the end of row 18. So we're almost there guys. So now I have come to my last two stitches here which I am going to be doing my decrease. And that completes uh, row 18 and I have a total of 18 single crochets so moving on to row 19 we will do two uh, single crochet together sorry not together but two single crochet in each stitches so one and two but before we go any further I'm just gonna mark this here we can start so we are now going to install our eyes. So what we're gonna do is to line that part up, we're gonna count from the bottom here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and in between 12 and 13, which is here, we are going to mark just like right here. And then we're going to count five stitches across. So one, two, three, four, five. And into the sixth one here, we're going to put our next pin. And then we are going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So in between 9 and 10, that's where we're going to put the um, pin for the nose. So we're counting down from here. 1, 2, 3. And in here, that's where we're going to put the... Um, so it's kind of like eyeballing it to make sure that it is even from here to here. We're going to add our nose there. So I'm just going to remove this pin. 
and I'm going to put that safety eye. It's a little bit. Okay, I got it in. And then I'm going to slip the back on. So this is how you're going to put it on. You're going to put it on from this part here. And we're going to lock that onto the back. So now I add the nose in there so you can see where it lines up and now we're going to put some stuff in on the inside here. Just using your fingers to just kind of adjust wherever you're putting in the stuff in. So now moving on to moving on to row nineteen, we are going to do two single crochet in the first two stitches. One and two and then into the next two we will do a decrease one two and it might decrease there so the sequence for row 19 is um two single crochet in separate stitches then a decrease then four single crochet by themselves and then another decrease and then um, another well after you do your four single crochet and a decrease you will do another set of four single crochet and then another decrease and then you will do two single crochet at the end so I'm gonna put that on the screen as I stated before and you will be able to follow that and I'll see you at the end of row 19. You should have a total of 15 stitches remaining. So now I have come to the end here and I have my last two stitches remaining. And I'm just gonna make my single crochet. And I have a total of 15, removing my stitch marker. Moving on to row 20, we will do one single crochet in the first three stitches and then into the next we will do a decrease and then we will follow that same sequence right around so one two and three and then a decrease So continue that and I'll see you at the end of row 20. 
So now I am at the end of row 20, which my which I have my last two stitches, and I'm gonna make my last two single crochet, which give me a total of 12. So for the last and final row for the egg, we will make um, only decreases around, and it will leave you back with uh, six stitches. So you're gonna insert your hook just as before, and make your decreases. So that's my first one. Using my stitch marker. Continue doing that and I will see you at the end of making my decreases. So now I have come to the end of making uh, my last round of row 21 and I have a total of six stitches remaining. So um, now you can go ahead and add more stuffing and you can use the tip of your hook uh, to do so or if you have anything that is small, you can use that to stuff more in the hole there. I think that is good enough for me. Maybe I'll just put a little bit more. So now what I will do is I will chain one and cut my yarn off, pull that up, and get my needle, and basically what I'm going to do is I am going to go into the front loop of each stitch. I'm just going to go right around into this last one here and then I'm going to, just going to pull on that and it closes up the top of the egg. You can see it there. And then I'm just going to go right down into that part there and I'm going to try and loose my tail in or weave my tail in just to make sure that it is well secured. just cut that excess off and there it is all you have to do is just shape your egg like this and there it is so now we're going to work on the ears for the top of the egg so to do that, we are going to make a magic ring. Chain one and into that ring you will put six single crochet. Now that I have my six single crochet, I'm going to pull on that tail. And then what we're going to do is we are going to put one single crochet into the first stitch and then two in the next. 
and that will be the sequence for row two. You should have a total of nine single crochet. Using your stitch marker as usual to continue doing that and I'll see you at the end of this round. So guys, now I have come to the end of row two and I have a total of nine stitches. Now I'm gonna remove my stitch marker and for row three, we will only do one single crochet in each stitches around. So remember to use your stitch marker to mark your stitch. Continue doing that and I'll see you at the end of row three. So now I have come to the end of row three and I have my total of nine still. I'm just gonna flip this over. And then for row four, we will do two single crochet in the first two stitches, so one. And in the next stitch, we will do another one. And then in the next, we will do two single crochet in that stitch. So that's our first two, and then two in the next. Continue that same sequence, you should have a total of 12 single crochet at the end. So now I have come to the end of row four and I have my total of 12, moving my stitch marker. Moving on to row five, you will do one single crochet in each stitches around and that will give you a total of 12 single crochet again. So continue doing that and I'll see you at the end of row um, five and I'll show you what to do next. So now I have come to the end of row five, moving on row six. We will do three single crochet in each stitch and then we will do two in the next stitch. So this is one, two, and three. In the next stitch we will do two single crochet in that same stitch. Continue the same sequence around and I will see you at the end. You should have a total of 15 single crochets. So now I have come to the end of row six and I have a total of 15 single crochet. Moving on to seven, you will do uh, one single crochet in the first four stitches and then two single crochet in the next stitch. Continue that same sequence around and you should have a total of 18 single crochet at the end of row seven. So I'll see you there. Now I'm going to be doing my two here in the same stitch. So now I have come to the end of row seven and I have my total of 18 single crochets. You will notice that it starts to look a little bit crooked, but don't worry, it will come right out. Moving on to row eight, you will do five single crochet in the first five stitches and then two in the next. So you should have a total of 21 single crochet at the end of row eight. Continue doing that and I'll see you at the end. So now I have come to the end of row eight and I have a total of 21 stitches. So from row nine to 11, we will only do one single crochet in each stitches around. So continue doing that and I will see you at the end of row 11. So now I have come to the end of row 11 and I have my 21 stitches. Moving on to row 12, we're gonna do one single crochet in the first five stitches and then in the next two, we will do a decrease. So that's my first. Two, three, four, and five. And then in the sixth one here, we will do our decrease. So that will be the sequence for row 12, and you should have a total of 18 at the end. So continue doing that, and I will see you at the end of row 12. So now I have come to row the end of row 12 and I have my 18 stitches moving on to row 13 you will only do one single crochet in each stitches around so you should still have a total of 18 
So I'll see you there. So now I have come to the end of row 13 and moving on to row 14, we will do four single crochet in the first four stitches and then a decrease in the next. So that will be the sequence for row 14 and you should have a total of 15 remaining. So now I have come to the end of row 14 and I have a total of 15 single crochets and our final last row is row 15 and we will only do one single crochet in each stitch around. So continue doing that and I will show you what to do next. Now it's time for us to install the ears. So I'll see you there. So now I have come to the end of my last row, which is row 15, and I'm going to do a slip stitch. And make sure that you have generous amount of yarn remaining so we can sew our ears down. So about this is fine. So this is what the shape of the ear looks like. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, pinch that together like that. And then we're going to just do a basic in and out sewing. So we're going to go from this side here. So now we're going to get our pin and we're just going to attach it right next to this one here. So I went ahead and I attached my first ear so you can see that there it's all looking cute. And now I am going to show you how to do the sewing. Make sure that your fingers is down on the ear to keep it in place. And basically, we're going to go like this.
So now that I think that my hair is secured enough, I'm going to go ahead and weave in the tail. And there it is guys, our bunny is now completed. It is looking very cute. All you have to do is shape it like this to make sure that it has that nice oval shape. I'm just going to remove my pin. And the video is now completed. So I will be doing a basket as well. So stay tuned for part two of this video where I will put them together so you can see them. Uh, in a basket as well and with the eggs so I have different um, sizes of eggs here so guys if you like this video guys please give it a thumbs up uh, comment tell me what you think and if you're new to my channel please do subscribe hit the notification bell so you can be notified each time I post a video so guys stay tuned for part two where I will show you how to make the basket to go with these eggs and the bunny and um, yeah so I will show you what to do next in part two so guys stay tuned thank you so much for watching again guys thanks for supporting my channel until next time bye